G'day, Clint Adams here. I'm here with Josh Hooper from Landscape Techniques, and we're recording the full landscape episode number six. Josh and I have known each other for, I'm going to say, around 15 years, and Josh is going to go into a bit more detail about landscape techniques, his, um, I guess, rise to where he is in the market at the moment, a little bit about his history, um, schooling, and, and being in a partnership, and um, I guess how they dissolve their partnership. So thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much for joining us. So this is what podcast number six is starting to gain some traction. Um, actually. So I guess for everyone listening, if you want to give us a brief explanation, I guess about, um, tell us about yourself and, and I guess what you're currently doing. Um, well, in business, so everything, everything. Well, so um, what's your what's your title now? Um, what do you call yourself in your business? It's yeah, it gets a few laughs around the. Because I the read off your email the other day, so creative and director. Mar- marketing director or managing director, yeah. Managing and creative director? Yeah, correct. And they laugh at you about that? Hmm. Just fire them. Nah, <laughs> it's good to have banter. It's, it's a good bit of banter. Yeah. Um, so obviously it was important for you to have that in your title because... Well, yeah, like I, I like to be creative um, and I also run a business. Yep, um, so it made sense. Yeah. I've yep. struggled with my title. Like, What are you... I think I've been calling myself CEO re- recently, but um, I was managing director, which I am. You know, I'm the director, sole director of the company, and I manage the company on a day to day basis. But yep. I tried to change it to CEO to cr- more for me to have a mental, like, I need to step away from the day to day operations and be that role. So it was totally. really more for me than anything else. It wasn't a business card or like a, I want to be a hero. It was no, just, totally. No. Um, but that's why I, I was interested to ask about that because the design interested me like do you I love you it. Say creative so that's that's a big part that's of what a big you do. part yeah yeah um i'll drill into that a bit later on yeah i want so you're josh hooper managing direct managing creative director of landscape techniques yep which is you're the sole director now i am yes um did you so you grew up in adelaide i did where'd you go to school um i went to school started at um hallet cove um until year four four year five and then went to Westminster and so you you're southern born and bred I am yeah so yep. it seems there's, there's quite a, a group of southern there is landscape yeah. is now popping up yeah um I guess because I was born in the northeast I've always had this like yes south is shit and like but then you get down there and it's such a beautiful part of the world being so close to the, the coast. coast and the vines for sure and yep. I think there's more room for higher end work to grow there than it would be if you went the same distance north yeah because you've got it's just a different demographic. Well, yeah, you've got you know all the way down to Aldinga, yeah. Wollonga. We just started one at Wollonga. And that that gap between them and that's going to become correct populated. Yep, and it won't be populated with low cost housing. No, nope. places like my Ponga, Second Valley. Yep, yeah, Normie. Exactly. Um, so Good spots. Did you you went to Westminster? You said yes. Did you um, you went to school with other guys there that became landscapers? Um, or what, have landscaping businesses? Well, so Gareth, who was my business partner yep. for God knows 10 plus years, yep. um, he was there, he was a year older than me. Um, Westminster's pretty much my year and the year above was you're either an accountant or you're a tradie. Yep. Um, so it's what, like, is it, is it a blue collar private school? If uh, Without, obviously, a lot of accountants, but like, are the parents of those kids, and this is a really big generalization, but are they like plasterers that, can afford to send their kids to a good um, private school or was it? No, nah, not real. I think that's more nowadays. Yeah. Um, but not back then. Um, they're all sort of, yeah, are the business owners. Yep. Um, not so much tradies, I think. Okay, so they might have a shop like this or they'd have a... Correct. A, a, a restaurant or yep, a exactly. salon or yep. whatever. Yeah, yep. um, But yeah, all of my mates just love the outdoors. Yep. You know, so that's where it went. Yep. Yeah. And so you and Gareth were in a partnership. You... So you were obviously you were employed as something. So did you finish year twelve? Yes. Yep. Did you go to uni? Uh, no. Was it ever planned? actually no? I did for a week or more than that. No, I went for two months, just enough to get a hex debt. <laughs> did, have you paid that off? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I guess as a business owner, it would be easy to hide from a hex debt. It's like I don't yeah. need any money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So but, what? So what I did commerce. So I I was gonna do, um, 
you know, that role of accounting, yep. you know. All Just because it's all you knew, like it wasn't... Well, yeah, it's what you sort of, what Westminster bred you to be. Yep, so maths was a strong component of year 11 and year 12. Definitely. And, and so the yep. schools were trying to... So I guess some schools might have a law, like the pathway to law is yep. different. So this was a pathway to accounting. It was very... Pretty much, yep. Okay. I'd say 80% of my mates are accounts. Yep. Yep. Not a bad thing. No, it's not. Good, like you're all... It's always amazing. Work. It's definitely helped me along a lot. Ah, yeah, so you've got people you can just call... And yeah, um, don't stress, man, if you've got to run your business <laughs> way. <laughs> no. um, you get, I guess, having the access. Like, I've got a really good relationship with my accountant, and I'd be interested to know what school he went to now based on the back of that, whether or not he went to Westminster. But Probably. Um, it's nice to have someone to make a call and just go, hey, dude, I'm just buying a car. He's, the guy's told me that this is a thing. Yeah. Is it a thing? Yeah. And someone that you trust. Yeah. And that's the relationship I've got with my accountant. Yeah. And obviously, and I've got exactly the same. A really good mate of mine does all of my accounting. And, and you haven't that wasn't a concern having a friend as your accountant. Like it, it's cool. Nah, yeah. not nah, where transparency is mm-hmm. the biggest key. Like I trust him with all of my money. Yep. yep. He's got access to everything. Your accounts, yeah. Yep. So it's yeah. yeah. Look, I know I'm, it was big for me to do that, but you know. I look over. I'm, I'm the same with Dion. He's got access to a lot, and like even like if we were to pass, like Celeste and I were to pass away, he takes a lot of control. Yeah. Um, because it's you need to you need to relinquish that trust at some point, otherwise you, you can't run. Everything. Well, you'll go crazy. Yeah. Um, and much, yeah. I think also it makes it easier once you've done it once. Like you know, look, like worst case scenario, he rips you off, which you know he's never going to do. Yeah. But you're not scared of that happening because if it did you know you'll be fine anyway well that's yeah and you've got to relinquish relinquish control we've well, done it with staff as well haven't totally. you totally yeah yep. and that's yep. i think takes a long time to do it it's weird isn't it like yep. the first the first time like i remember chris was the first guy we hired i think in the shop and then you know now i can leave him here for a month without me here mm. and it just operates or that's matt right. or whoever is yep. in charge at the time yeah but I went, only remember Chris because he was my yeah. first. Oh, yeah. look, Matt and Jamie have both got access to all my accounts. That's and, awesome. You know, like... And how long have Waterpro been going? <sighs> it's funny. I think it was 08, 09. So, oh. like, we met when I was at New... So, you would yeah. have been working for Summit? Were you an employee of Summit at nah. the time? So, you contract... So, did you go... So, you went commerce, start a business? Nah. So, I went commerce, then did um, an environmental traineeship, yep. and then did, yeah... So you were employed for that. TAFE. Yep. Yep. And completed a what cert? Horticulture or? Yeah. So I think it was in between horticulture and landscaping. Like there was the, it was the gap there. So what year were you meant to finish your 12? Uh, or did you finish your 12? Sorry, 95 or something? No, 90. Jeez, good question. Because I'm just trying to get some context. I'm, so I'm that trying would to build be a not, timeline. 98. So 98, you finish year 12. Yep. So where, yeah, so I was due to finish in 2000. So you finish in 98. Yes, yeah. Uni, so 99, 2000, you're looking at your environmental thing. Yep. And then, cause, so I think I started at Newton's in like 02 or 03. Yep. So that would have been the time when we first met. Yep. When so you Gareth and that, I were sort of contracting for Summit. Among other things, you yep. were doing your own work as well. Yeah, we were. So yeah. you get that whole, like uh, like everyone, you do your family and friends and and then any re- refer- refer- referral work from that. Yeah. And then obviously it came up, Summit came up and then... Yeah. That was Gareth it. had previously worked for them. Yep. As an employee? Yeah. Okay, so that's where the connection was. That's where the in. connection was, yeah. Yep. And, and then so. obviously that blossomed like, as in your business grew. Yeah. But took a while. Took so, a long yeah, time. Like it wasn't. It wasn't. Um, it's funny. Like the overnight success story. Like it wasn't that. Now you've got this great team and you're doing all this good work. No, well, landscape techniques started in two thousand. Yeah. So and to answer your question, I think, I think, Water Pro Proprietary Limited was registered in two thousand and ten. Okay. But we were the fluid design was, thing was fluid, happening yeah, like oh eight oh nine. Yeah. So oh eight oh nine. I'm pretty sure it was March oh eight. So I think oh seven I left Newtons. Yep. And then oh eight. We started doing that, and then it kind of morphed to what it is now. Um, it's awesome. So it is. Look, it, it's weird. I still. I mean, you'd probably be the same. I still get anxiety and stress around it, and I'm like, is it? Is it all? Like, I still worry. Like, I'm like, we're we gonna be all right tomorrow. Like, is it still gonna be? But you got a passion for it as well, don't you? I've you got love. a passion for business. Yeah, business. Um, I think that's probably the the thing. Like, you've got a passion for what you're doing. Yeah. Like, I could probably be running a different business. Yeah. I love the fact that I luckily fell into this. Yeah. And that all the guys we deal with are so good. And that might be because of the way we've tweaked our business to only deal with people that I want to deal with. But most of the landscape market... very squeaky. Yeah, this, if, with my recent um, 
weight gain. I can lean back on these chairs. I thought you were actually looking quite good, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you. See that? You wait till you see the slide on, on, on YouTube. <laughs> actually, I the last podcast I watched the bit at the back end because I wanted to see. I think it was something to do with the light because the, there was some light changes, and I saw my side on, and I was like, "Oh Jesus!" So I went back and saw my vegan healthy body, healthy mind. I, look, and I, I, I'm a massive like advocate for that, but I'm also the like I'm the perfect before photo for everything. <laughs> like I, yeah. So I went and saw my vegan trainer, like the one that I used to train with. Yeah. So I'm back on my old diet, or even worse, he's put me on an even more stringent meal plan. Really? So I'm I'm dizzy, like really dizzy right now because I've only had. What have I had today? Like, like dairy-free yogurt, some protein powder, tofu, and some green vegetables, and a teaspoon of almond butter. So I'm like, Ew. so if I fall off a chair, it's not. <laughs> it's it, you know why, but yeah. yeah. So I mean, I, I do think about it sometimes. Like, if I'd ran a hardware shop or a sand and metal yard or a furniture shop, like, would I still be as, like, would I enjoy it as much? And mm. I don't think I'd enjoy the hi, how are you going? Oh, we're looking for a dining table. Oh, come and look at these dining tables. Like, I enjoy the. The business to business yeah, relationships sure. you can develop, yep. but we I can th- ring each other up and have a bit of banter every now and yeah. then. Yeah, <laughs> good. Give you, you know? some shit about your business title. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, so uh, obviously, you you've been part of a partnership, and now you're part of a sole directorship. Yeah. I, I've had um, experience with partnership as well, and I'm, yep. I think that I was talking to DK about it on the way back from a site visit we did this morning. I think that it's a challenging thing to be in a partnership and. I'd be interested to know, I guess, <laughs> I told you you'd come in at yeah. some point. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Interested to know, I guess, the pros and cons from a partnership, in your opinion, and yep. and I guess, um, I guess, I explain the process of, like, did you plan for it to dissolve at some point, and was that part of a thing, and are you happy to we talk about did, it? We did, yeah, no, I'm happy to talk about it. So, we planned it for about almost two years, so Gareth... Gareth's exit? Yeah, we called it Gets It. Gets it. Is yeah. this, this was around the Brexit time, or were you, were you like, no? Yeah, cool. Yeah, we're not that you, good. You went before Brexit. Nah, yeah. nah. Because you're a creative director, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, planned it because he is family. Yeah. Right. So we had to break it. Oh no shit. Yeah, because you Probably. guys. Yeah. Le- so le- legit. He's, so he's married your- to my sister. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. it's and close. you like and you love your sister. So you didn't want to dissolve that whole partnership. <laughs> Could not. <laughs> nah. Nah. Yep. Cool. So um, no, we planned it. Yep. And it worked pretty much as we wanted. Did you have a partnership agreement in place from the start? We didn't. You didn't. Did nah. that? So because well, I recorded some content before for DK, like advice for partnerships. Yep. And I was talking about how it's important to lay the expectations of the partnership down early. Yep. No one does. No. Um, I also think that. Partner, it's rare for partnerships to work. Totally, we're um, yeah. And you were in that rare. You didn't dissolve your partnership because you weren't getting along. No, you dissolved not. your partnership because he he wanted. He to lost the passion pretty yeah. much. Um, so Gareth had a lot of travel because he was down at Middleton, and it just became. So Middleton, just for anyone listening that's not in South Australia, the context was... Flurio. So it's like an hour's drive yeah. back into Adelaide CBD, if not further. And if you're working north. Yeah, which he did, so yeah, but yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a lot of travel. It is young family. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, just he just got over it. Like you know, you know as well. If you're running your business, you got to have passion. Yeah, we, for and it. That, yeah, you know, and hobbies, which I have, have to work out my hobbies still. Yes. So you hobby. surf. I do. Yep, and Gar- Gareth is a keen surfer as well, he is, to yep. the point where his new business or his new role is he's teaching it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, he is. At the moment, traveling around Australia, I think he's on his way back. Yep. So he's in Esperance, I think, at the moment. So I'm seeing oh, so he's not pictures. Just like in Middleton teaching surfing. Uh-uh. Right? He's driving around the yeah. world, Australia. Pretty much had 12 months traveling around Oz. That's wicked. Well, it is for him, but it's yeah. hard to hard to see on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> you bugger. <laughs> um, I'm prob- you could probably nah, block it. him. I'm sure this is a feature. Is that, <laughs> that's the thing. Nah, he's all good. He's all good. It's so good. And I guess, like, I, I, unless anyone's experienced a partnership and a, and a marriage in, is included in that because obviously it's pretty much the same you spend more time you with spend them. more time than a marriage yep. and you're obviously probably dealing with more money than a marriage in most yep. cases when yep. you're sharing a bank account with a business amount yep um you get to know that person better than you do like you see yep. like everything blood sweat and tears kind of thing so yep. and you go through some pretty shit like scary shit together with you know, clients not paying you on time or totally. job demands or whatever yeah. else. So yeah. there's always a you'll always have a bond that no one will really ever understand. Yeah. Um, and it's just I guess it's disappointing if that dissolves in a negative. Yeah. Um, uh, my partnership wasn't the most 
clean break so yeah i've got the other side of it but obviously there was no ultimate no nah, nothing and that's what we we made it made sure it that had that to was, be clean yeah had to be clean did you you just used a recipe and said this is what it's worth like yeah, using a, we, we got our the, accountant. The 10 accountants well, we, that you've yeah, got around you. We got a few of them together. So it just wasn't one. Because um, Gareth and I are mates with all of the so same So rather mates. than you saying, I think it's worth three times X plus SOG, they've gone, We just like there's like a, a body of guys that sat down and went, right. and just worked is, it this out. This is fair for everyone. Yep. Yep. So, so you were almost just witnessing that it wasn't a... Like totally. Obviously, it was almost out of our hands yep. and we wanted it to be out of our hands. Yeah. They can take so control of it. They could have three of them. They vote on it. Majority rules. There's the deal. Hang on. That's so cool. Yeah. And well, it's the, I think it's, it was the only way. It makes sense. And look, I wish all marriages went that way when they go <laughs> bad. Like, And that someone just goes, well, this is the partnership agreement. When we first got married, we agreed that well, you take that, you take that, you take that. Yep. Which is, I guess, a prenup. But, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, we had a partnership agreement in place um, which covered everything. Because we, I think at the time we started Fluid Designs, we went to Business SA and we got accepted in this young entrepreneur mentoring scheme. Oh, really? And they were like, you need to have this, you need to have this. I am I think, I'm pretty confident, and Michael might be, as the, we're the only two people that didn't graduate that. Because, <laughs> not because we didn't have the ability, we didn't do the work. Yeah. Like, they're like, oh, you need to do a, a two or three page business plan. I'm like, no, nah, not happening. So we just had to type up some shit. And, but Did you do that now though? Well, just type it up so I can have yeah. it. I'm sure that this could, this has to count as some kind of like recognition of prior Probably. learning. You know, like when they give Elton John like a doctorate in music or some shit for, yeah. you know, you've done enough work now. Anyway, I've never been a massive, um, I don't have the need for that to be fed. Like I don't need the certificates. No, um, I agree. So it's, and that was, I guess it probably um, was something that I was going to ask a bit later on. Like you've done no formal qualifications in landscape design. No, no, no. So, and so I've there's got, no legal requirement for you to do so. No, well, you no, can't, not you can't really. Write that you're an architect on a plan. That's no, that's I can't write that I'm an architect. But yeah. um, we employ Tom, who has done the landscape design course. Um, so he he's massively involved with all of our. I've seen a lot of his work. work. Oh, he's amazing. And he does Good. he use Vectorworks for his designs. He used Vectorworks and. CAD. Um, yeah, so Vectorworks and SketchUp yep. with multiple sort of rendering programs as well. And just joins it together. Yeah. So he's got skills. Because I remember Nathan who was working for Paul Jackson. Yeah. He was using SketchUp for nearly everything. Yeah. Well, we really do ever. too. No, it's, it's good to get, you know, you can learn so much with SketchUp. Yep. So how things, you know, slope your sites. Yep. It's, yeah, so easy. Google winning, like <laughs> everything. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Correct. So um, the... was. So it was. It was never always a plan to become a landscaper like that. That you just went no, down never, the commerce no. point, and then it, and then I just what, went. At some I point cannot, you went outside and went. Yeah. This is really nice. Yeah. Well, I'd always been wanting to be outside. You know, surfing throughout uni, school, yada yada. Yeah. And then sat in at uni and just went. Oh my god, I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life. So I never experienced that. I like I. I didn't finish year 12, so I wasn't allowed to yeah. go to uni. I only went to uni for a week, like once or twice, and <laughs> sat on the lawn. I'm like, is this what they Sounds do? Like you, mate. Just go somewhere because there's alcohol. Yeah. yeah. Like, I want to become an MC just so I can be drunk at weddings all the time. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just, it was like a weird, like, I, I can't, it's a part of me wishes I did it, and I guess 90% of me is glad that it didn't. I didn't waste any time. I had no hex debt. I just yeah. got started and yeah. did whatever you want to call this, a 10-year business management diploma you know and it's worked well you know and, awesome. and i think that you learn more do, like when it's your 80 grand on the line or it's your 40 grand you lost there or it's whatever you do the sleepless nights you do and that's way better than how do i go on my exam with Correct. my theoretical business plan and yep. i think that's why i didn't do the i mean at the time we were doing the business sa thing yeah i was running a business yeah we were doing hundreds of thousands of dollars it wasn't like what do you want my business plan for? no like, that's right and you probably didn't have time or yeah, it just got pushed to the... You know what, yeah, yeah. what's the thing? Like, I don't have time is, is slang for I don't really give a shit about what Correct. you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I, mm. that was a... I listened to a Tim Ferriss podcast and she, this lady said, like, that's one of the things she hates hearing the most is, like, I'm too busy. Yeah. It translates to your stuff's not as important as all the other stuff I want to do. But... And there is a line, you yeah. know, like, you're at the top or you're halfway. It's... Yeah. So the was there a click point when you just went? This, this is it. I definitely want to be landscaping, or it just kind of organically because like for me, it just kept this growing. Just happened. I just started doing Same. something, and it just kept going. Like, yep. I just kept saying yes. Like, can you do this? Yep. 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 Can you do this? Yep. Yep. Can you get me this? Yep. It's yeah, and the whole saying yes thing. It's hard to say no. Well, and I guess the one of the things I've learned is that you need to start saying no at a point. Yeah. And I think learning that curve, 
of going, yes, 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 yes. And then you're like, oh my God, I'm so busy. I'm stressed. I can't handle the workload. You need to start learning what you don't want to be doing. And then that's when you can start saying no to stuff, which mm. um, we didn't do in our early stages. Yep. And I see a lot of young landscapers saying yes to everything yep. and dying because yep. the only person that's hurting is them yeah. because their staff still work the same hours. Their clients don't know what's happening in the background. So how is that something that you've had to, like, do you have a set of rules or values around the clients that you're going to work with or... Um, I guess though, like so you say no like yeah, that's not inside our scope like um, yeah yep and that um, you know I do say no a lot but yep. what I do is I pass on yep. you know, so you don't say no and walk landscape. off definitely yeah. not it's like no. look we can't do this for 12 months yep. or it's not in our well it's not in our scope well I wouldn't say 12 months it'd yep. be you know no you know we'd love it's to do no. it but we can't do yep. it yep. and here's some guys that I would recommend to yep. do it. And most of the time, you know, it's an email and they go, awesome, thanks yeah. a lot. Appreciate your help. I think that was, it was something, I think it was in a book I read, but this we worked for a client in Medindi. It was actually the site we drove past earlier today. And he was a lawyer, like like high end killing it lawyer. Like, yep. And he just said, because I was freaking out and we were working really late one night. I'm like, we got so much on. He goes, say no. He said it was the most powerful thing that ever happened in my business. I just started saying no to stuff. Mm. And so I just started doing it. And when we started saying no to the stuff we didn't want, it left time to do the other stuff because you'll always fill it. Yeah. And then you've got, so that's why we, that I guess the no dicks allowed <laughs> value came in. Yeah. Because we say no to the clients we don't want to deal with. Mm. And all of a sudden when someone rings up and goes, hey, I'm X and it's inside my, like who I want. Like, yeah. I'm like, that's the customer I really want. We're free, yeah. to, free to do what we need to do. So what you started trading in 20, no 20, 2000. Yeah. So the millennium, the computers didn't all die. They didn't. And no. you just went, all right, this is good. I don't even think I had a phone, but no, I did. But yeah, yeah so it just kept, um, yeah, it just kept going. Like we just, you know, got work and enjoyed it. And then so it was just the two of you? It was just the two of us in a, um, with a panel van and a green crappy trailer. So the panel van because you could fit surfboards in it? Pretty much, yep. That was the car that I had at the time. Where'd you spend New Year's Eve of the millennium? <sighs> Um, so you would have Falls been Festival, I think. Yeah. Mm. Oh, for New Year. Oh, wow. Falls for 2000. That would have been crazy. I reckon, yeah. Um, so you, it was just the two of you. And what one of you would just drive and pick the other dude up and off yep. you go. And yep, we one job at a time yeah. for the first, what, three to six months. And all of a sudden, you're running two sites. And did yeah. it go like that? Oh, no. Nah, we sort As in, of you, just... were, you were still on one site together, but you might have had another job. Yeah, we had another stuff. job there yeah. lined up. And then we yeah got a couple of guys. And then we sort of split up. Because Gareth and I have got a different mentality of how we do things. So we've f- worked Sorry. out that, okay, let's work separately. Yep. Take another guy, yep. go from there. And then it just kept going. Do you miss those days when it was just you on site with one guy? Um, do you think, I mean, or I guess it's hard. No, nah, it's, a, a it's, it's a, just the roll on effect, part of the you process. know, like part of the process. Yep. Do you think you could go back to it? No. Nah. No, nah. yeah, I'm the same. Like I couldn't you, spend a day... Like I, I'm happy to spend a day working in the shop um, when it's required, and yeah. I enjoy getting back, um, I guess, to my roots, and yeah. I thrive on it. Like I love it. Yeah. But I worry about all the other stuff. Totally. I think in the if back you of your turn mind, all the other stuff off, you'd be okay. Yeah. I love. Um, I actually don't mind getting on the shovel yeah. or the broom, but yeah, it's there's always that in the back of your mind. What should I actually be doing? Yeah. And as soon as the broom finishes at three or four, the what should I have been doing goes till ten anyway. So yeah. You're still doing. And pretty much the boys will days. just take the tools off me because they know that it's so you don't having want a team working. behind you that know about your weaknesses more than you almost yeah and, and they know you where i should be. you shouldn't be here dude yeah, correct and if you're doing that you're better at it yeah you can close deals we can't you can do designs we can't yeah you can negotiate with suppliers we yeah. can't go do it yeah and it means that the business is going to be stronger for oh, them mate, the for business the is the team you know how many staff have you got now uh so on the field we've got 10 yep um we need a couple more, but Jesus. Um, and then yeah, Tom, me, um, my mum does a bit of bookkeeping. Yep. She loves it. So full time, like, what's your bookkeeping take? Uh, she's two days a week. Yep. Or yeah, sorry, one day a week. Yep. And then Scott, who is my accountant, he's sort of one day a week too. So okay. he does. Does he have his own business? Yep. Yep. So he's not. He's not like he has to explain it to. No, nah, he's got his own. Bit. So he does a few. Yep. Again, it's that Westminster connection of yep. all the trades. Yep. He does a lot. Yep. Um, We'd be probably one of his bigger clients. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah, it works really well. Because a day a week, so that gets some pretty high level accounting involvement, which is good because he's seeing it really intimately. Yeah. And he can go, why'd you do this? Or, well, then we can actually this. catch up, you know, every month or so and 
run through what we're doing, I don't where think we're at. People do that. No. We do that. I catch up with my accountant for an hour a month yep. and have coffee and just yeah. Like well, we try talk to. About whatever's yeah. in my mind. Yeah. Um, and the good thing is because it's a it's an appointment, I just go to it. Like yeah, because he's on staff for you. Yeah, you it's. You, you, I could sometimes we go. Okay, we'll meet. You know, next yeah. week, and that you might get pushed out two weeks. It might be six weeks between it. Yeah. But um, what we do do is try and work out a bit of a how you're going budget yeah. for each job. Yeah. You know, sort of at certain points of a job and work out where we're at. And it's let's get him involved at that level because we don't talk about that. We just go, what'd you turn over? What was your profit? Yeah. Where were your pain points? What are you looking at doing? Yeah. What's your budget for next month? He enjoys it, so it's good. He he enjoys almost you know it's being real part like of it. Yeah, it's, it's not right. The bullshit like correct tax return stamp, tax return yeah. stamp. He's done tax that. Stamp. He's done that. Won't go back to nah. it. Yeah. Nah. And you know it's I don't know it's good for him. He enjoys I'm it. I'm trying to fill my stomach with water because I'm so dizzy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. It's gonna be like this for a couple of days. I probably shouldn't have started my diet today, but um. So that's a lot of stuff. Um, the workflow is always a long way in advance. Like it's just yeah. managing it. You yep. know, it's not like you're looking for work. Uh, you know. We're always looking for like work. And, and that, I don't mean like, don't call me. I'm so busy. But like, <laughs> yeah. you know, you've got you've got a pop pipeline of what three? Like, what are you three months? If, like, if I said right now I need you to start at my house, what's the start date? Um, yeah, it'd be two to three months. Yeah, yeah. So, and that's a good. I think that's a good buffer. But with yeah. ten guys, it's a great buffer as well. Yeah. Um, and so, do they? Um, Sorry, I was going to go back to the software. So you you said you mentioned your mum does your bookkeeping. Do you use zero? Is, no, that, we use Myob. Myob, and was that off the back of um, what's your account? Sorry, what's his name? Scott. Scott. So did Scott say this is what we this is what I've always used? I want you to use. Yeah, it it's, yeah. yeah. So, so we, we just, just used, used it from the very beginning. With um, guns, like back yep, that we, far back. Yep, that far back. Before it was online, like you just bought a wire and stuff. Yep. Yeah. CDs. You can do it with CDs. Killed me. I hated data entry. Yeah. God. I don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, yeah, I I, I never, never did, did it. So <laughs> Michael did a lot of that stuff, like our accounting. Yeah. In the early days, when it was like like an hour a week. Yeah. And then obviously we hired admins pretty early yeah. because we're in the infantry business. So sure, you needed it's got it. Got high dependency, like it's high dependency. Even before I spoke to Jamie before about that, we're looking at hiring a second admin. Really. Because so that she can step up more as an assistant to me, so that okay. we can do more of that and. Yep you know a business we've got the same we've got 12 staff now which yep. is close to your number yeah but to have two of them as admin one of them is digital media one of them is software engineer like it's it's a weird mix of staff but mm. i think it an, an accountant would say don't do it and an entrepreneur would say go i'm gonna it. go do it yeah just go do it so For sure you know i'll just do it and <laughs> <laughs> work it out later yeah um it's a fine line though isn't it between having hard. too much of that. i always hire early as well i don't know what you're like like if you because if you saw a gem right now you'd take it wouldn't you like if you saw a landscape landscaper that's like su- su- site supervisor ready you Bang. know their pedigree you even if you didn't have work you'd be like i'm taking them yeah because there's that much of a drought for the right people yeah oh it's yeah do you struggle to find stuff like obviously that's um, a question i ask a lot of the guests yeah. Do they come to you? Some, like I think if you put the feelers out to the right yeah. people, um, yeah, people Because Justin, who we, I spoke to last week, said, yeah. you know, he gets emails saying, hi, I'm looking at getting into landscaping, you know, but then there's a no, lot I of No, I don't really, no. Nah, um, he's a lucky man to get that. Yeah. But, um, maybe my brother, isn't he? Isn't he my brother or well, yeah, my second brother? Or? What I was going to say, um, we need to make sure, make it very clear when we do all the cut cue cards for Instagram and stuff that this is not Justin being interviewed <laughs> for a second week. He's so a good man, You Justin. got your own hat. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's, and you know what? That, that goes back to my point before about like dealing with people that it's good to get along with. Like, It's great that this business can grow with turnover because another guy like Justin comes into our market. Like, mm. I don't have to rely on you growing your business for me to grow my business. Yeah. You get this new breed of the next generation come through. Yep. And you're like, oh my God, at least I'm so glad that he's not an asshole. Because if we had, because at the other side, like at the like the generation above you in landscaping, there's some real rigid people. Mm. And it's, it's not enjoyable for me to deal with them. So there's a lot of them we don't deal with. Yeah. And, you know, it's just the reality. But that generation below you, or half a generation below you, like and me um they seem to be a lot more like if they're going to succeed it's because they're good people exactly they have to be because the world's so out there now when it's all client-based you've got to be good with clients whereas in the 80s and the 90s 
if you weren't good with that client, there's no Facebook review, there's no tag, there's no... Like, it was get still away with feral, it but it might have been yeah. calling you, not giving the job to your neighbour, but the next yeah. suburb, no one knows who you are. That's right. Because they have to walk to a phone box to call their... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so in the old days. Oh, man. I don't know. It's, 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 yeah, we're in a weird generation. You'd be in the same generation. Like there was a new micro generation described, which was like 77 to... Did I talk about this? Was it 77 to 83? Where we didn't have computers in primary school, but we did have them in high school kind of thing. Yeah. Yep. Like we're in that weird generation. Yeah, right at the end that, of that. Yep. Yeah. Um, yep. So do, the the first two staff that you and Gareth had, do yes. you still communicate? Are they still employees? Do you still know them? Are they started? They, they were mates of ours. Were yep. at the footy club. Yeah, yeah. So they've just gone down whatever their organic path was going to be. I know Duncan is an accountant. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they've all sort of gone down that path. You know, like it's it's what you're bred to do from year five. Westminster life. Yeah, it is. Westminster like the word. Yeah, though. yeah. Did um. The so have you had any of so you've obviously bred a little gang of landscapers. <laughs> I say little landscapers. That's for Tyler and Mitch. Yeah. <laughs> I know uh, that they'll uh, both. There's the Freeman landscaping. Yeah. I got my Freeman landscaping. Mitch gave me nothing. He probably did give me something. Was I supposed to bring you something? Not at all. No. Tyler gave me that hat because he was giving. I think I was wearing. Rob Cooper gave me one of his hats. Yeah. And I was wearing it, and Tyler's like, "Why don't you wear my hat?" I'm like. Because you haven't given me one of your hats. <laughs> and it's hard to wear something so you don't have. He's like, you need to wear it. And I thought I said, no, I'll put it up there. Because then every time, this is good marketing. Like it you're is. in the back of a podcast. Someone, nah, he's good at what he does. That was actually, Mitch rang me yesterday, day before. He had a client book him to look at a job off the back of the podcast. Wow. Like, how mental is that? That was great. I was so happy. I, I'm, I'm assuming there was other context. Yeah. But it gave her, them the con- like they could go watch 45 minutes of this guy and go, I'm comfortable with his personality. I think yep. he'll be the right fit for us or sure. whatever. Yeah. But so. And they're all doing really well. It's good. They are, which, you know, I know that they both attribute a lot of that success to you. And I know you're too modest to go, oh, yeah, no, they're fucking all me. But <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Like, there's plenty of people go out from other businesses that don't have the same success that they've had in such a short period. So, totally. I agree. Um, it's either the. Well, I refer them to. And you wouldn't do job. that if you didn't want to. And yeah. they obviously left you in the right way. Totally. And I think that's a very good yep. lesson. Like in, for I guess trying, Don't I'm trying to bring bridges. value to to the people that listen to this, especially in South Australia. Mm. Like you, there are very short bridges, and if you burn them, like it's yeah. So I've I've happily burnt a few bridges, but I think um, everyone has, mate. I think yeah, and you'd be the same. You'd go, no matter what happens on this earth ever in my life, I'm never dealing with that person again. Correct. You yeah. Know. But you don't need to be silly about it. No. It's just a burn and go. It's just it's gone. like back front page advertising. Learn from it, yeah. Yeah, and if you haven't learned, from, that's the old, yeah, another good quote, hey? We're just coming up with these new quotes, like if you if you don't learn from it, it's not a mistake or something. Anyway, do you I'll run Apple or Android? Apple. Apple, always have? Always have. Yep. And yep. so you, the same with your computers? Yes. And so you design the same deal? It's all... Yep. yep. It, it is now, yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. I was, you know, until probably a year ago, I was on Windows with my computer yep. because I was doing a lot more spreadsheet yep. sort of stuff. And now you can still do it on. So does my old map work well for the, I guess, quality side of things? Or do you run an Excel sheet, get your numbers and punch them? Correct. Yeah. Yeah, but is that been, that's obviously not a big enough issue for you to look at? Nah, so I've got it all set up. So I've got all my. Um, budget database all set up on spreadsheets so if it's not pro don't fix it so if you lost that excel sheet you'd be in a you'd have to start you'd have to build yeah a but new it's one. here here yeah here. because there's copies of it everywhere that's right i'm sure tyler and mitch have got a copy <laughs> each as well <laughs> maybe um but yeah i just find that um apple just you know we use the photo sharing thing a lot as in they've got an ecosystem where you can put photos and then all your team can pull those photos. Yeah, and every job's got a photo yep. album. Yep. So we can literally see from the very start to the end. Yep. You know, Which probably exists in other ecosystems. Oh, I should, it does. have seen it. No. Nah. Google Docs, you yeah. know, all that sort Google of Google Docs is getting better. It's, it's, it's my biggest problem Too with basic. Google Docs is, Docs is that it doesn't translate to Microsoft Word and Excel well enough. Okay. And the majority of the world uses microsoft word and excel so i tried to go completely google suite because i was you're an android man aren't you? because i didn't like being told what to do by by <laughs> apple i was apple till the iphone 5 
Um, but then I went to the Google suite completely. So I told these guys, you can't use Excel, you can't use Word. And then we were getting supplier price files in Excel and trying to open them in Google Docs and it just didn't look right. And then yep. you try to resave them. So Microsoft have got such a monopoly on that that it's it's you can't try to... It's not like Coles and Woolworths. No. It's basically like Bunnings and Masters. Like they tried to come in, but Bunnings just had so much traction that people are like, sorry. sorry. So um, does the majority of your business come from the referral side of things or have you doing a lot of work with designers or now that you have your own design house it's kind of um i suppose it's you know builders that we've formed a relationship with um building architects as well yep. um referrals bit of social media yep um, so you're not you're not doing work for any designers i guess it's kind of not if you're really doing your own design it kind of because i guess there's a little bit so there's a the little landscapers bit. that just landscape yeah and they don't Yep. Even but like Justin was like, I'm not a designer. I don't no, know yeah. my thing. Yeah. So he's got a good relationship with a really high end designer. Yeah. It's unlikely that designer is then going to get you to do work. Well, we've done a little bit for that for yeah. him as well. Um, and he's great. And you just respect that relationship totally. and stay away from trying definitely. To and anything. you know, I, I Justin and I speak quite yep. regularly about bits and pieces. Yep. Um, but from the design point, of, like you're not going to go to the client and go, I don't know why he's put that there. Like it's even if it's no, opinion, definitely not. No, you just, you know, we we yeah. sit there and chat about it. But the, and that's I guess collaborating it's is probably not a bad thing as well because if no. they, if you've got the design eye and you're like, hey, from a struct like a structure, a construction point of view, we can actually do this better if you. That's right. Whatever. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's pretty so cool. yeah, no, it's good. It's been good to see the the um. I mean, and you've probably watched it change, the amount of freedom and money that landscapers now have yeah. in yards yep. like you, homes are getting the bigger the money wasn't there yeah. like, well I don't know I don't even know if Adelaide had the money but like people weren't willing they weren't to spend half just, a mil on a backyard yeah, and, right. and now like they like oh your pool's going to be 150 mm. cool yep. can you put a hedge here like it's just yeah. you know whereas back when we talked about I talked about it with Justin like yeah. 300 by 300 promenade pavers and like yeah it's, it's, it's a while ago it's got to be good that you've got that freedom now, but I think there's still that you know, there still are people. The doing, reins are there. Yeah, that's yeah. you know. It's oh, still, the work's there. Yeah, I'm just saying that work's still there. Yeah, it's just the it's other just work's the, gone mental. It has. Like yep. we did a site visit in Medindi today, and it was just stupid. Like, and they said it was Nathan Burkett designed it. Yeah, and he was. I was saying Is that like, the one that Rob's doing. Yeah, yeah. That and looks great. Rob's planning it out today. So he yep. said we could come out and film. The client was really good. I met the client. She's like, yeah, do what you want, film stuff. Because it was awesome. good for us to get some content and like for sure. understand just basic design stuff, which yep. I'd never thought of. But they were saying the client was so good. They just went, whatever you want to do, do it. You know, and you don't get that no. as much. Well, yeah, you, you don't get as much. But you, you probably yeah. don't get as much as you'd like. But mm. yeah, so, you know, we're going to put this here. We're gonna, it was It was nice for me to see how crazy it can how go. crazy it can go yeah and, and that looks amazing like i've seen photos on social media and it's just awesome. the detail i mean you'd, you'd have it with your stuff like yeah you so you do pools yep yep well we we subby our pools out to um mermaid pools yep. um and a few others as and well he's got a good relationship with a lot of the high-end landscapers from what i can tell yeah and he's you know he's really good i get along with him really well yeah. and it's his way or the highway and I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> From a stru- construction point yeah, of view. Yeah, definitely. Because he ne- it needs to be. He needs to be, exactly. Yeah. And I don't, I, you know, I don't know no. the ins and You'll say how you want it to look Yeah. and he'll say that's not going to work from yep. a stru- stru- structural strength yep. point of view or whatever. And we'll go, no, yes, no, yes, yes, yes. You And you, you're a member of the Master Landscapers. Yep. Have you been for a long time? Or a fair while, yeah. Yep. Um, definitely getting a lot more out of it now. Yep. Um, the Inica's, you know, Moved in. She and was at site this morning as well, actually. Oh, was she? Doing it, Anston. Getting it. Because <laughs> uh, Rob's got a film crew there. She's so. got so many hats, doesn't she? It's crazy. It's um, it, I think it works because the hats are all, I guess, in the same field. Like, yes, yeah. you know, it's not like she's trying to sell steak, and then I mean that would probably work as well. But do you know what I mean? <laughs> so yes, I do. Do you run all your own social? Yes. Yep. So well, get, Tom, Tommy has um, access to them so, all yep. as well. So. And so similar to your bank account. I mean, I know that sounds stupid, but having someone access your social accounts just it's, as it's just, just as, as important yeah, as your bank correct. account. and scary. Yeah. Yeah. When but they, no, totally trust him. So he'll he'll be on site and he'll, or he'll take some photos of some plans and post that and yep. engage in the content. So he'll yep. answer community and get. Do you answer all you do? You, do you comment like? Um, if someone writes a question, you you reply or you? Yeah. Not, no, I will. You're yeah. Someone, yeah. No, and I'll try and you know at least like or something like that yep. on a comment just try or, and create, create yeah. that engagement yep. are you strongest on Instagram 
Yes. Do you use Facebook at all? A uh, little bit. Tommy pushes me to yep. get on Facebook a lot more. Because you can share the Instagram straight to Facebook Correct. anyway. Yeah. But I, I don't think, know. I'm not... I, I think it's changed. I mean, I think it's dying a little bit. Mm. Um, the the Facebook side of things. Yeah. When, especially in the market you're in when in, it's so pretty. Yeah. Um, do you do it with house and all those other... We do. You've got an yep. account set up. Yeah. Is that a big part? Uh, it's It just all flows through. Yep. So, it's all so you've just got all, a photo... Yeah, it goes, it goes. six platforms. Correct. Yeah, Snapchat. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. No, nah, I'm not a Snapchat man. Yeah, it's a little and, bit, but it's more sort of family stuff. <laughs> you know, funny sort of keeping gear. it off. Yeah, stuff yeah. off the radar. Yeah. Um. So, do you have machines inside your arsenal, or do you just hire stuff as you need it? Like, have you got an excavator or a bobcat yeah, or whatever? Yeah, no, so, we've got a few. Yeah. And is that something and that you waited a while? Like it was? No, not not really, because Gareth and I, our when we started, we sort of did mainly all construction. So retaining walls, big retaining walls, all the hardscape, yep. you know, bigger sort of stuff. So we because had to get was, that. And it was it was an ideal contracting style of Correct. thing as well because yep. a lot of the companies that were contracting staff would want their staff to do softscape mulching planning. Right. So that leaves... Yeah, all the other stuff to yeah. us. Yeah. And um, yeah, so we had to have it all. Yep. Um, and just, you know, slowly just built it up over time. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it works works well. And do you lease your vehicles or do you try and buy them out? Right? No, nah, I just buy them out. Right, I yep. just um, second hand. Yep. I know that was a question that you had. Yeah, it was Justin. something that yeah. we. Uh, yep. It int- look. Uh, I guess I get a new one, but everything else that yeah, you know, and then yours becomes someone's car, maybe in yeah, maybe in five I'd, years I'd, or whatever. Yeah, I just lease so that's that your pretty car? much. Yeah. So it's a Ford Ranger. Yep. So that's pretty new. Uh, yeah. Yep. Or you just look after your cars better I, than I do. Nah, it got service the other day and yep, they cleaned so give it, it for all me. For you. <laughs> yep. um, the, the, I, I guess the, some of the questions might seem weird, but I, I'm trying to develop a podcast that's going to benefit the landscape industry. So sure. I want the younger guys to go, okay, that's interesting. These guys that I look up to are the guys that have been training for 15 or 20 years. Yeah. They're still buying secondhand cars. Good they're secondhand. Still, yeah, like it might be you a know? Toyota with 50,000 on the clock right. or whatever. Like yeah. It makes sense, but um, I also want it to be to bring value to homeowners that go, oh, that's interesting that he believes that about his design philosophy or yeah, know, yeah, whatever yeah. The yeah, process. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, that's good. On that, when someone does engage you guys or they want to start talking about, um, I guess, in- engaging you guys to do work, what's the process look like? Um, so we're really trying to push the design element because from the design becomes comes the construction. Yep. Um, so... Um, Someone would normally email, call me, yep. social media, yep. text, whatever, and then we'll go out meet, and yeah, it goes from there. And you'll lay out your fee structure then. Yep. So you know. give it a um, design brief yep. and what is included in it. Um, yeah, what you're going to get at the end. Yep. Um, maybe even just some inspirational sort of stuff of designs we've done in the past, um, and then yeah, it goes from there. They and can go yes, like a Pinterest or a house. To try and get we're developing yeah so we're developing that so pinterest yep. is something that we're sort of now getting into so we can just get um storyboards and stuff yep. like that going yeah so then we can share it with it's them it's so good it's like, so good and even for them to share with you like these yep. are some of the ideas yeah and they do that a lot yeah yeah but we've got a quite a big um i suppose library of inspirational picks that we'll put yep. on plans or yep. whatever yeah so. we, we i've got I've, you know you see it that's the that's what the barbecue's going to look like that's what the pool's right. going to look like yep. roughly yeah with yep. your own i guess design yeah and 3d is massive with that so we try and get well probably 80 percent of our designs have a 3d component in it yep. so that the client can actually see what they're getting so there's not that i didn't think it was going to look like that yeah imagine yeah. trying to do that 10 years ago oh, well, 10 maybe maybe 15 but stick figures and i think the biggest advantage of that obviously they get what they want but from a business standpoint, it doesn't leave you not getting paid because they, they've like there was no yeah. ambiguity around it. No, like oh, I didn't want that. Can you do it again? Yeah, or can you change it? It's like well, that's exactly what I wanted. Here's the invoice. Correct. Happy yeah. days. And they, you know, they almost when you're spending a lot of money, you're almost seeing it. Yeah. You know, you try before you buy yeah. almost. Oh, there's and you look at the level like the 3D walkthroughs that are around. Oh, there. Now. That's when that's yeah. It's yeah. Good. Yeah. That's what we're doing. You're heading yeah. there. Yeah. And so it's, and Tom's got that skill set in SketchUp. To yeah. Do that. It's just definitely. time that isn't it. It's just the amount of time that he sits there and exactly. Yeah. Pumps it out and you having just a, allow for that. Well, that and if the that's client's right. happy to, to yep. see it. Yep. Um, 
do you think you'll always landscape like is this is there another um, is there a burning desire to open something else or not really i i, I have a passion for a you know obviously the design yep. and being creative is yep. something that i really and i think it's part of my family like all all my family members have got some sort of creative yep. element in them yep. um so that's the first bit and then actually seeing people develop and you know change within a business is like a big, the team yeah 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 um and making it work watching them come in as an 18 year old and that's right go and out just, as a 24 year old to start their own business or stick with you to a, yeah well that's that's it you yeah. got to create that culture yeah you know it's got to be fun it's pretty cool yeah um i asked the um our last guest to ask a question to our next guest which is you um do you ever get angry all the time no nah, i don't um i used to yeah i used to um but i find anger is a form of weakness right yep. so yeah i i enjoy what i do so why get angry yeah you know it's such a, a privileged place isn't it? that's like, right exactly and you know if you're angry at something that's that's happened you, well you don't get angry yep. you just find out why yep. and make sure it doesn't happen again because that was i said to him i've known josh a long time i don't remember him ever being angry but i guess if you identified that early so that would have been something you've gone okay this is becoming something i don't want to be yeah part of my i just life. didn't think i need it yeah. yeah yeah it's not good around family and stuff like that yeah. so it's like well let's how yeah. do you deal with it yeah yeah uh what's your favorite food cuisine um I love, I know it sounds a bit funny, but I, I like real fresh sort of food. Like yep. I don't have a specific so it's cuisine, not the, yeah. um, but I like, you know, sushi or even like a really good stir fry. It's just been made. Yeah, it's just, you know, cold rolls, yep. you know, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, um, the kind of stuff I should be eating. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't get me wrong. I love pies and pasties and yeah. stuff like that, but <laughs> not that you That's, eat them. <laughs> I don't know. I, my, I don't think, yeah. My, I love my, meat too. Yeah. So I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of here and there with meat now, but yeah. Um, what well, I guess I think that the market that will benefit most from you is that 24 year old landscaper right now. What advice would you give a 24 year old you if you're about to embark into your landscaping career, or at that point you're probably in? But um, make sure you're ready for some hard yards, I suppose. Yep. Like work hard to start with, yep. and then just let it grow. Yep. Really. Um, is that kind of acceleration like a plane? Like you've got to dump it hard for those first... I think you do. Whatever. And then yep. you can switch into autopilot yep. and cruise and then you've got your team behind you. And, and do it right too. There's two... Well, I don't it's know. It's one of my values. Many. Do it right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. There's only... Uh, look, that's... that's. I'm a big, big fan of that because yep. it's like a foundation of a house or there's so many metaphors that you can come up with. For sure. But if you don't, any of those cracks are going to get big. Yep. And if you do the wrong thing by people along the way... Definitely. Like if you're going to put something down, make sure it's right. Yep. Um, if it's not, pull it up. Yep. And if that costs you the day's money. So be it. costs you the day's money. Yep. You just got to deal with it. Yep. Uh, what else did I have? The, I guess, were there was there any major hurdles along the way that you had to overcome, I guess? Or has it has it kind of felt cruisy? Like, um, I suppose, think you know, looking back now, it felt kind of cruisy but just, i'm sure there was some oh yeah but there's just every day like i got audited by the ato in 09 which yep. well no 10 or 11 I haven't had that yet you probably won't get it you probably were doing everything right i got audited because we weren't doing the right things but, yeah okay um and their computer modeling picked up that we hadn't paid five of eight basses and yeah whatever else um but I, I i guess i understand that side of it as well because since then you just do what you're supposed to do do yep. it right yeah and then nothing really comes up and it's, get the right people yeah yeah. yeah and and yeah and i think engaging with them enough that they stay like find out what their bo ticks tick boxes are and yeah. make sure that they're happy and comfortable well, people and want challenges too so you've got to sort of you know you give them responsibility and ownership and let them take it and let them take it and then they grow like everyone wants to do well at something yeah you know i think for a long time i struggled with understanding that like people actually wanted more because mm. I, I had this like i guess i think because I, I started working at Domino's as my first job yeah most of the kids didn't want to do anything yeah they were 15 they were doing a job to earn enough money to buy whatever stupid stuff they needed yeah and so i'd be like do you want to do you want to learn how to make a pizza like no nah. <laughs> whereas and so that's kind of where i learned mm. and then when i came in here I'm like, you give someone an opportunity and they're like oh i've, I've been waiting for you to give me this forever yeah. <laughs> i do it anyway yeah so it's hard you kind of forget about that but um our next guest is i think it's daniel phillips 
who's oh, yeah. currently riding his bike around. He is, isn't he? The Great Ocean Road, I think, or I think he went through Robe. No, maybe he's not on the Great Ocean Road, but he's riding to Melbourne. Last time I saw a picture of him at Robe or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So Man. I need a question from you for him. Does his bum get sore on the bike? <laughs> <laughs> He'll be a really good one to talk to. He will be. Because so, he was in the same era as you. At well, Newton's. I hired him twice. Did you? Yeah. So, um, wow. he he was he was my, I guess, my Jared. He yep. came in and was working with me in the shop and filling shelves and yep. and blossomed really quickly as he, you know, what his like, yeah, personality is yeah. like. Yep. And then he left and went to work for a building and construction company for a little while and we stayed in touch. We used to go out and get drunk and do stupid stuff all the time. And then Frank and I were talking and we're like, I said, I think Daniel's like, he's he's ripe. We'll go get him. So we took him out for lunch. <laughs> and he would have been so young still. Like he was probably 24 and he was being caught really? to come back. Wow. He was young. He started when he was, I think he was 18. I, I, I'll ask him about it next week and he'll tell He's always story. had that young face though, hasn't he? He still looks right. 18. It's uh, just stupid. Yeah. But, um, yeah. He, he um, we had some fun times back then. Hopefully we don't, there's going to be some interesting don't talk about this don't talk about that don't, yeah, yeah luckily i control the editing so <laughs> um is there anything that's that you want to plug about your business right now like is um, there anything that you're working on that you want people to know about i mean not even just your business the market in general um not really I, I i i've been really enjoying it the last couple of years like getting I'm to know I'm other purple patch, landscapers kind of. you know like Justin, you know, you got you yeah. yourself, Clint, yep. you know, bringing us all together. and I'm trying. Yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> We're going to do another one of those dinners soon. I've got a yep. new batch of guys that, yeah, it's great. that couldn't come. And yep. um, I guess it, selfishly, there's there's good networking opportunities for me as well. But yeah. it's also just fun. Like, it's it's fun. just fun. It's like, fun. You know, yeah. everyone's got their position in the market and yep. I think there's enough work Definitely. around. Definitely. For the so, right guys, which is yeah. something that keeps coming up. Yeah, that's it. But... So, um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Wicked, man. Thank you so much for coming no in. No worries. Thank you. If anyone's got any questions, um, comment below on the YouTube or um, SoundCloud and every other platform that we're on here. I'm sure Josh, Josh will be sharing it on his Instagram or Tom will share it for him. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah thanks. No, it's been good, mate. Thanks, man.